In this video, we're gonna look at how to apply a keyword to a clip, which will help us organize the content. For the purposes of this video, I'm gonna go up to my clip appearance and filtering menu, and I'm gonna drag the duration all the way to the left, to all, which means all of the clip is gonna be represented by one of these little film strips. I'm also gonna uncheck the waveform option so that we see just the video. This should give me enough context to be able to organize these clips. Then I'm gonna click anywhere outside the menu to get rid of that. So to apply a keyword to a clip, you're gonna click anywhere on the little thumbnail for that clip to select it. Then on your keyboard, use the shortcut Command K. Command K is gonna bring up the keywords for that clip. Now if you're following along with this same footage, we'll see that three keywords have already been applied. One of those keywords is 000 for the scene number. Then we see the overtime part one keyword, which was based on the folder that it was saved in, and the scenes folder. So we can see the various keywords. However, I know that this is the opening and it's scene one. So instead of 000, I can actually type in the word scene one, and I'll press return. And that actually creates that keyword. So if your clips have no keywords on it, that's okay. When you create that keyword, you'll notice in the library sidebar, we now see scene one as a keyword. You can even click this little triangle under keywords shortcuts, and you'll see scene one has been applied a shortcut. So as I go through and look at these other clips, I know that these other ones with the briefcase are also part of scene one. Same thing with the folder here, all these folder ones are all scene one. So I'm gonna click on the first one, hold shift, and we'll go down to the keys here. I think that's the last one of scene one. So click, hold shift, and click on the last one here. It selects all of those clips, and then I can either use the shortcut control one to apply scene one, or I can just type the scene number up here. As you start typing a keyword, if it's already been used, you'll see it auto fills that keyword. Then I'll hit return, and that's all I need to do. So by doing that, if I go over to the left column on the library sidebar and click on scene one, it now shows me all of those clips that have been applied a scene one keyword. If we go back up to the entire event, I'll select another one here, use command K to bring up the keyword editor. And I can see scene one has been applied to this clip, but let's say that you've applied some keywords and you didn't actually want to apply those. If a clip or a bunch of clips are selected, you can use the shortcut Control-0 to remove all of those keywords. So Control-0, and notice all the keywords have been removed from that clip. I'm gonna use Command-Z to undo that step and put all those keywords back, because I do actually wanna have them there. And then when we're looking to navigate between our event, we do have the list of keywords over here on the left side that have been created. As you've seen, you can go through and click on any one of these keywords to see all of the clips inside or part of that one keyword. You can also hold the command key or the shift key and click on multiple keywords to see all of the clips from multiple keywords. So for example, if I wanted to see all the clips from scene three, the 003 keyword and 004, I'm gonna hold command and click on 004. Now we're seeing all of the clips both from scene three and from scene four. And I can hold command and click on 007 and it's adding those, key, those clips to uh, this selection and what we're viewing on the right side. Another thing you can do with keywords is group them using folders. So we can actually go up to the file menu here, go to new, and there's an option to create a new folder. You can also use the shortcut shift command N. And the folder, I'm actually gonna call this folder scenes, and then I can add all of the scenes to that folder. So in this case, all of the scene keywords, which are just these numbers, are part of this one folder called scenes. And using folders is a great way to start grouping your keywords. Because even before, I have a, a nice large screen here, but this whole long list of keywords can be a lot. It can be a lot to look at. So another tip that I have for you is I recommend creating another folder. Again, shift command N is the shortcut to create that folder inside the event. And I'm gonna create a folder called unsorted keywords. 
What I like to do with this is put all of the keywords I haven't yet gone through and put into a specific folder or a specific place because this lets me group those and hide all of those. Because there's some keywords like the overtime part one, part two, those keywords, I'm actually probably not gonna use. So I'm just gonna put them all into this folder called unsorted keywords. And as I need the keywords, I can move those out and put them where I need to, to put them. So for example, maybe the score and the sound effects, I do wanna have those keywords a little bit more easily accessible. I can drag those out up to the overtime event and then I'll close unsorted keywords. But notice now how much cleaner my event is when I open it up. Before it was a long list of just all the keywords I've applied, but now it's a list of scenes, which I can easily go into. I can see my score really quickly, the sound effects, and I see all the unsorted keywords are in here as well. So then I can hide those. This makes it much easier to navigate your event and your content which is gonna speed up your editing process in a few steps because you'll be able to really quickly go and navigate directly to the content you want. So don't hesitate, go ahead and apply some keywords to your clips and start creating those groups. If you've created a group that's not the right name, like we have these 000s, maybe they're not the correct name, don't worry, you can always go back and rename the keywords to a different name if you need to. In addition to renaming your keywords, you can also delete a keyword. And this is something I wanna be very clear about because Final Cut is very non-destructive, meaning it's not gonna delete or modify your clips. So you can go through here and select a keyword and delete that keyword, and it's not gonna delete the original content. So for example, I know I have this overtime part one, two, three, and four folders, that were created into keywords when it got imported, I actually, those, those keywords are not helpful to me at all inside of Final Cut, so I don't need them. So I'm gonna select them all using Shift and clicking on the last one. Then I'm gonna hit Command and Delete to delete those keywords. What you'll notice is those keywords disappear, but if I go and select the event, at the bottom we still see all 517 items in this event. Deleting a keyword does not delete the actual media. You're not gonna lose anything by deleting those keywords. 